the, the, the what? Absolutely. What the hell is wrong with you? Also, would like to uh, give a shout out to Joe Dabrowski, who is on assignment right now uh, in Parts Unknown, doing IWC correspondent work. Joe Dabrowski, he never sleeps, BC. Fans getting behind TME. Don't get it twisted, though. Yeah, the Philly and Marina experience have their fan base as well here in attendance tonight at the Court Time Sports Center. But as you mentioned, the premier tag team in IWC has to be TME. Duke Davis, Gannon Jones Jr. They've been all over the country. They've appeared on All Elite Wrestling. These guys are the face of the tag team division here. There's no getting around it. Well, there's no doubt about it. And over the years, we've seen, as I mentioned earlier, many great tag teams. This is going to be interesting. We've said before, Duke and Gannon always have the size and power advantage. Uh, obviously, Philly Collins there on the ring apron for PME will have a power to match Duke and Gannon. But my question is going to be is, can Marino Tanaglia, can he match the speed of a Duke Davis or Gannon Jones Jr.? <laughs> Well, if he can match the speed, has yet to be determined. Obviously, he can't match the strength, as we saw, attempting that crucifix a few seconds ago and not able to have enough momentum to roll Duke Davis onto his shoulders. And again, going for the Hurricane Rana, Duke Davis just too strong, BC. And you just saw the power there. Duke says, no thank you. You will go where I decide you will go. Tag into Gannon Jones Jr. Double team here. Off the ropes. Nice flapjack. Lands Marino Tanaglia. And into the cover, just a one count, BC. Well, you're going to have to do a lot more to keep down PME. I think PME realizes, there you know, he, PME, TNE, we're, we're trying to keep it differentiated. I don't want you to get confused. PME, the Philly Marino experience, they know what they have to do to get the upper hand in this match. They know they're gonna be outsized. They know they're gonna be outpowered. But they're not gonna give up. Marino Tanaglia slammed hard on his back by Gannon Jones Jr. Well, you're gonna to have to find some kind of opportunity. Uh, I mean, Gannon calls himself the all-star for a reason, and there's that opportunity right there. Marino Tanaglia getting the tag into Philly Collins. Beautiful double team into the uppercut from Philly Collins. You mentioned Gannon Jones Jr. calls himself the All-Star. His partner, Duke Davis, calls himself the Metahuman. Those aren't nicknames, BC. Those are, those are names given to them based on what they've shown in the ring. Picture-perfect drop kick from Gannon Jones Jr. This is a six foot five, 265 pound man jumping up and then in right again. And he can fly like a cruiserweight. That's Unbelievable. the scariest part. Unbelievable, BC. The boot right into the face of Philly Collins. And the tags. The frequent tags here by TME. Very experienced, as we said many times, the face of the tag team division here in IWC. And you saw, that is what's known as the McAfee. As, as, the McAfee? Uh, yes. That movie we saw there, that kick to the head, is, is inspired by the great Pat McAfee. Hey. No arguments there. Look at the elevation from Philly Collins colliding with Gannon Jones Jr. And that was enough to take the big man down. Here comes Marino Tanaglia. And there's that power that I mentioned earlier from Philly Collins. If you've never seen IWC, if, you've, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with these two tag teams, you see the difference in size, in strength, in power, and you automatically think TME has the solid advantage, but as we're seeing, Marino and Philly are showing that they're not slouches. That's true, and you know, if you want to get caught up on IWC, obviously the IWC Network, we'd like to thank people following us there. I'd also like to thank those of us, those of us, those of you catching us on Fight TV. Hey, I'm catching it up, man. I, I'm a subscriber to the IWC Network. I've been watching it for months. And if you go to IWCWrestling.com, you get the Instagram, the Twitter. Hold the on, Facebook. new champion, BC. No! A kick out. $9.99 a month, by the way. $9.99 a month. IWC, 21 years of history. It started out in McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, a little building called the Emerald Room. Yours truly was in attendance. I was a lot thinner and had a lot more hair then, but. 
Well, I was in elementary school back then, BC, but nonetheless, well, I the names it. that have come through the annals of IWC lore, the CM Punks, the Corey Graves, the Elias, the DJ Z, everybody that has come through these doors and showcase how big of a star they could become. Look at the athleticism from Dennis Jones Jr. into the near fall, just a two count, says referee Bobby Williams, and into a, a fast drop kick into the face from Philly Collins, and again, just a two count. Five minutes gone by. Yes, sir. Five minutes gone by. A lot of homegrown talent from IWC has made it to a, a, a larger stage. Cole Carter we've seen as well. Cole Carter, just the most recent, but, but think about the last few years, Wardlow, what a huge name in the wrestling business he is right now. And of course, Britt Baker, DMD. DMD, yep. a little positive. TME, they're showing that they belong in that spotlight as well. But hey, I don't care how big or strong you are, when it's two on one, you're at a disadvantage and we're seeing that right now from Gannon, oh, oh boy. Gannon Jones Jr. dropped on his head into the cover. Oh, just a two. My goodness, I am so impressed with the Philly and Marino experience, BC. Well, that, that was their best opportunity thus I mean, far. I, I've seen these guys in action before, and I know that they're not to be taken lightly, but in a competitive match for the IWC Tag Team Championship, against the premier tag team in this company, they're showing something of themselves, BC. Well, there's no doubt. Hey, we've said that, that they are competitors. They they earned this matchup uh, based on their history, not just in IWC, but elsewhere in the independent wrestling scene. And there you go, the power again from Gannon, Gannon Jones Jr. Jr. Just taking advantage, advantage of the momentum there from Philly, or excuse me, Marino Tanaglia. Philly Collins on the outside as well as Duke Davis. They want to tag here. Well, yes, yeah, uh, Gannon's been in there for quite a while. And you know, Duke Davis chomping at the bit on the outside to get in there. And think about the struggle that TME went through to finally acquire those tag team championships. They finally won the championships in that triple threat tag team TLC match in late 2021. And since then, they haven't had any days off, BC. It seems like the challengers are just lining up daily. Well, yeah, they said they're willing to take on anybody. No cowards here. And that's what you need to be. That's the way you need to feel. That's the mentality you need to have. And look at Duke Davis, head of steam, one by one. One for Marino, one for Philly, and into the big old. Oh, my goodness. The pop-up powerbomb catches the super kick. And again, the strength of Duke Davis. TKO! Is this all? No! Oh, two and seven eighths, BC. Marino Tanaglia just able to kick out. Now, is that the official measurement, two and seven eighths? Oh, get the hell, come on, man. Why are you, well, I mean, you going to ruin it? You put it out there, and everyone at home knows I'm not good at math. I'm just trying to. Figure it out. Oh! Let's move on. Well, Mar Marino. The Instaguri from Marino Tanaglia. And going to tag his partner, Philly Collins. And Philly Collins did the smart thing. He took out Gannon Jones Jr. on the outside. So Duke Davis is a man into himself right now. The stop into the DDT. This could be all. One, two, no. That was as close as I think we're going to see it tonight, BC. I believe that would have been two and eight ninths. Uh, you know what? This guy. You know, I try to keep my bite. You know, yeah. Let's just move on. Ah, one match in and Lendo is flustered. I'm not it. flustered, BC. Yeah, you're a lot of things, but be that as it may, one thing that uh, the Philly Marino experience is focusing on right now is being tag team champions. And that's something that's coming into question. Duke Davis coming to the defense. Philly Collins. And I believe Gannon got a phantom tag there, got, or excuse me, got that. Uh, what was that? He hit that flea flicker. I think it turned into the flea flicker.
happened so fast. Gannon got the tag. PME was not aware of it. They thought they had it within their grasp. Gannon doing the smart thing. Duke able to counter what the Philly Marino experience had going. It's still your tag team champion. Duke Davis, Gannon Jones Jr., the main event. And you won't hear me say this often, but BC, you were absolutely right. It was confusing as all four men were in the ring. But it led to the flea flicker and it led to the three count. Still, your tag team champion, Duke 